Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to another song review and welcome back to Rocktober. Uh, this week, I, as Britney Spears, who am going to be sharing with you some spooky songs, some creepy theme songs. Not necessarily super creepy, but just fitting with the Halloween theme for this month. Monday through Friday, I'm going to be posting a video every day in October that has a bit of a creepy theme to it in some way. I just thought it would be fun, but we are still doing a poll every week on Monday. I think this video is going to be going up on Wednesday. I'm recording a little bit ahead, so it's hard for me to like predict what's going to be happening by the time you see this, but there's always going to be a weekly poll. So I will pop in here. Be sure to vote on it for this week. So the last song that I posted, I believe if I post these in the order that they're going to happen in my mind, and if YouTube allows, of course, with copyright reasons, was a Muse song that had a little bit of a darker meaning to it that I didn't know going into it. So I thought today, the next day, I would pick a song that just sounded a little more lighthearted, and I just went off of the name for the next one, which is Dead Eye Dick, and the song is called New Age Girl. I don't think I've heard this before, but I glanced at the comments and somebody said this just broke my brain. I haven't listened to this in 20 plus years, and I just sang every word like it was yesterday. So I don't know. I want to know this, but it doesn't sound familiar at all, but we will find out together. Oops, I already have my headphones in, but if you don't have yours in, pop them in, turn it up. I'm not going to mess with my, with my fake headset because it's hard to get my headphones in and out, but yes, pop them in, turn them up, and here we go. Yeah! Dead Eye Dick. I've got a new age girl. Tell us what she's like. I remember to listen, girl. Does she ride a bike? She has a crystal necklace. She spend a lot of cash. Oh, I don't know this. Vegan, so I find that extra. Like it. it doesn't get her far. Why she doesn't bike it? Go to get her to where she's going. I don't know. I don't know. Where that is. Wish I knew. Don't know where she's going and I don't know where she's been. All I know that loving her has got to be a sin. Mary Mo! She's a vegetarian. Mary Moon? Definitely the right song for today. Let me say. <laughs> Mary Mo, she's a vegetarian. Mary Mo, Mary Mo, Mary Mo will help the generians. Mary Mo, Mary Mo, Mary Mo.
wow okay that was fun that that's definitely on the halloween party playlist right <laughs> when is this from is that the 90s i want to say the 90s yes 1994 love that i don't know how i haven't heard of this i love all things 90s how did i miss this Here's the thing, I'm going to say this, and if you're a fan of this band, I don't mean to offend you or them, but I feel like this song is like cool and funny, and with just their sound, I feel like they might have been a one-hit wonder, but I hope not. I hope I'm wrong. Oh no, I typed in was Dead Eye Dick a one-hit wonder, so they found themselves quickly consigned to an alternative rocks one-hit wonder bin. Well, that's unfortunate. I just feel like it had the one hit wonder vibe. I don't know why, but it was good at the same time. Like I'm going to be listening to this all week. This is going to be the song of the week. It says it was in the soundtrack to the 1994 film Dumb and Dumber. It widened the song's popularity. It peaked at number 27 on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart. I have to see what the name was. Mary Moon, is that right? Yes, Mary Moon. She's a vegetarian. To outlive all the what? I've never heard this term before. I have to listen to it in my headphones, how it's pronounced. Septuagenarian. A person who is from 70 to 79 years old. I've never heard of that term in my life. <laughs> but yeah, I love the lyrics, especially. What did he say? Hold on. This was a fun song. I'm glad we did this. She doesn't eat meat, but she sure liked the bone. <laughs> I don't know why that gave me a giggle anyway uh let me know what you think of this song have you heard of it before it seems like it was quite popular in the 90s even even being a one-hit wonder i mean i guess usually one-hit wonders are popular so i don't know why i just said that but yeah let me know if you heard this one if you like this one the video was great the pumpkins love them <laughs> the ones making out behind the barn that got chased away which is kind of it's just funny and ironic because it's like you have a pumpkin on your head and then you're like, get away. You can't watch me. You can't see me. You're a pumpkin. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, I will end this one here. I really like this one. So thank you, whoever suggested it. I will try to find it and pop your name in here, but I, I don't know if I can, but I will do my best because this was a good one. So thank you. I will see you guys tomorrow for another Rocktober theme song. Bye.